So with that, we next have a, a video from uh, the Congresswoman from this region, uh, from this district, uh, Representative uh, Debbie Dingell. Hi, it's Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. I'm glad to be able to join you today. I just wish I could be there in person. We have this little thing in Washington called the Speaker's Race. Someday we might have one. Most of you know that I'm a car girl and that the auto industry is at an inflection point. As passenger cars and commercial vehicles are becoming safer, smarter, and cleaner, we need to ensure that we are meeting that movement with the necessary policy and infrastructure. B2X tech includes everything from the smart software in your car to the ability of your vehicle to prevent potential crashes. It's everywhere, and it's an important part of the advancement of our automotive sector. It's critical to the U.S. Department of Transportation's National Roadway Safety Strategy and Vision Zero Goals, since it has been proven to prevent vehicle-related accidents and fatalities, which count for, quite frankly, thousands of deaths each year. B2X technology is essential to moving forward into the future of electric and autonomous vehicles. And by the way, we've got a lot of problems right now with people's confidence in autonomous vehicles. We have to get this right. As consumers and commercial vehicles evolve, the University of Michigan is conducting cutting edge research to help keep us on at the forefront of auto innovation and advancement. Earlier this year, U of M was awarded $9.8 million to update their connected vehicle test environment with V2X technology, allowing them to research, develop, and test emerging safety technologies. That's important. And this summer, I joined with my colleague, Congresswoman Haley Stevens, to reintroduce the Vehicle Innovation Act to promote investments in research and development of clean vehicle technologies to increase fuel efficiency, reduce our nation's dependence on foreign oil, strengthen our supply chains, and support American auto manufacturers and suppliers. This would not be possible without B2X. I'm optimistic about our state and our country's opportunity to lead the world. I will not see a hard leadership to anybody in this new era of mobility. And I look forward to continuing to work with U of M, with the Department of Transportation, and with my colleagues in Congress to tackling the challenges and developing the technologies to support the future of connected vehicle technology and infrastructure. That's why you're here today to talk about it, and we're gonna make sure we stay at the forefront.